Hi, this is Rich Miller from Data Center Knowledge. We're here at Data Center World in Orlando. We're visiting at the Eaton booth. Uh, and why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about uh, the product you have here and what you're going to show us. Hi, I'm Jason Anderson. I'm the uh, product line manager with uh, Eaton. I'm here introducing our new 93 PM, which is our mid size UPS offering. This uh, UPS ranges from 20 to 200 kW. It's a 480 volt offering. What's great about this product is that it's a very scalable product. It can scale from 20 kW up to 200 kW. It uses uh, 50 kW building blocks that are Unity Power Factor. And you can uh, not only use them for scalability, but also allow for internal redundancy, which allows you to eliminate the need for a redundant UPS. As I mentioned, it can scale, and it has a line and match accessories that allow you to add distribution, battery cabinets, maintenance bypass, all the things you need to have a complete lineup in either a gray space or a white space solution. One of the things that's a market leader with this product is the fact that it is a market leading efficiency at 97% in double conversion. This is in addition to our ESS efficiency of 99%. So uh, tell us a little bit about ESS, ESS and uh, what it does, what it, what it accomplishes. ESS was a feature that we launched a few years ago with our existing product lines that we brought into this product line. ESS is different than what you normally hear with an eco mode in the sense of that it does three extra steps. It provides faster protection, meaning that we can transition from our ESS mode in less than two milliseconds, which on a typical eco mode is typically eight to 12. Also, in addition to a faster transfer time, ESS allows for inherent surge protection, meaning that a, a 6 kV 3000 amp lightning strike can, can be filtered through our UPS without being um, delivered to the critical load. And then finally, we offer uh, fault detection, which allows us to determine the difference between a load fault and a source fault. And this helps us in clearing our downstream faults. So um, this can be used either uh, at the perimeter or in row. Uh, you did some uh, new, uh, slightly different things with the, the cooling and uh, yeah. to, to try and uh, adjust uh, for that, right? When we started this product, we looked at not, not only our existing customer base, which is heavily in the gray space, but our new customer base, which is more centered in the white space. And in the white space, they have different requirements than in the gray space. And one of those, as you mentioned, is the fact that the UPS can be used in different thermal applications, meaning that a typical UPS takes the uh, cold air in the front and then delivers the hot air out the top. This UPS can do that, but in addition to that, it can also take the uh, cold air in the front and deliver it to the back, which is well suited for a hot out, cold out containment. Now going back to the uh, traditional air in the front and air out the top, we also limited the hot air exit on the top to the back six inches. This allows for slim chimneys, which then allows you to use overhead busway and cable train management because you're no longer using that valuable space. Right. So you've also done some uh, uh, slightly different things with uh, the interface here. Well, maybe you could tell us and show us a little bit about that. Yeah, some of the VOC that we had from our uh, fastgrowing.coms and our colos was the fact that a UPS needed to look very attractive in the white space, and that's what we have with this. Uh, but this, these features uh, that you see here with the LEDs and the display are not just for looks, but they're also functional as well. The LEDs gives you a status of the UPS from a, from a distance, so meaning that they will change colors based on the status of the UPS. Green meaning you're online and normal, uh, yellow meaning you're on battery or bypass, and red, uh, a service is required. Uh, in addition, we've added this nice colored touchscreen display. It gives you all the benefits that you've had in the past. However, it gives you the additional benefits of things like load profiles, battery statistics, um, and kilowatt hours saved. So there's a lot more information that you get out of this display than you have on previous products. Okay, well listen, thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes to show us. Oh, thank you. Um, All right.